I've always said that if you want something bad enough, you can do it. And I still believe today that anybody with enough perseverance, endurance, and determination can, can accomplish about anything that they set their mind to do if they just do it. My winning all those tournaments and doing the things that I've done in my past life simply has had one thing with it. I had lots of PED, and I spoke about that many times when I was done emotional speaking, motivational speaking or whatever. That PED stands for Perseverance, Endurance, and Determination. Now you can add that, add Jesus Christ on top of that, and take Jesus Christ with you, and to follow His commandments, He makes some mighty, mighty promises that would be awful good for people to live by. So He plainly says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these will be added unto you. He will make you successful. There's no way you can outgive Jesus Christ. You can look, dump all the money in the, in, the, in the bag at the church if you want to, but you'll never outgive God. And if you take Jesus Christ with you, you never have to worry about whether you're going to shelter, whether you're going to eat, whether you're going to wear, or nothing, because He promised you that He'll take care of that if you'll follow Him. I leave that, that bit of information for any young people who wants to come along, and particularly my, my two granddaughters that I'm so, so in love with, one in Russellville area and one in, in Nashville, Tennessee. I, I just wanted to mention the fact that after Shane spent about four years and working to write that book called An Impossible Task, we got together and we started doing book signings, et cetera. He became my agent. And before we went, he introduced me, then, then I'd speak some, you know, we'd sell books and so forth. But if I'd have had Shane as my agent back when I was doing all the, my little company and stuff, I'd be a millionaire today. Because <laughs> he's an excellent promoter, excellent speaker, more than I am. So, so I just wanted to say that, and how much I appreciate it. And today, Shane is still with me. He has a home on my property, or on our property. And he is kind of the caregiver for, for Ann and I. We're both in our ages, and we have nine or 10 doctors apiece, and he spends about four or five days a week taking one of us somewhere to the doctor or going to get drugs or something. So I'd just like to offer my very much thanks and my love for my son, Shane Andrews.